Hi everyone, this is our new ZMAX 45 outlet. Uh, the cable will exit at uh, a 45 degree angle sideways, uh, either out to the top right or the bottom left. Uh, and I'm going to show you a termination uh, with a shielded Category 6A uh, cable today. So we have the, uh, the outlet body, uh, the lacing or termination module, uh, the rear cover and then you get a, a tie wrap as well. This is the termination tool. Uh, this makes termination a little easier because the termination lacing module is so small as you can see. Uh, this tool has multiple functions and one of them is to hold this lacing module like so. So this is keyed. Uh, it, it won't go in very e easily the wrong way insert it into the module and you're ready to go here. So let me prep this cable. So you want to take off about two and a half inches. That works the best. Any strip tool will work. The foil layer you want to fold back on top of the jacket like so. Drain wire in this case gets folded back. I'll show you what to do with that in a moment. Remove the mylar layer and the center separator. Just be careful not to nick the conductors. Now anyone that's familiar with our, our Z-Max outlets lacing is identical uh, to that wire scheme options as you can see are are listed both on the bottom of the, the module and on the tool handle itself but the arrangement is identical to our ZMAX series so I'll do the uh, the B scheme today for you so brown blue green then orange okay so the uh, the jacket edge uh, should butt up against this rib here in the tool handle that will give you the the measurement required to the point of termination so let me lace this here for you white conductor if you're right-handed like me will be a uh, to the left or away from you from this point of view so as far as the pair untwist as you can see the, uh, in some cases I have the pair twist pretty high here um, that should still work fine it's okay to have no twist like this brown one uh, you're still well within, you know, recommended distance for your your first twist. Uh, so, with a bigger cable, uh, if you're using 22 gauge, I probably wouldn't recommend having that first twist so high. So, um, in that case, you may want to untwist that one more time and lace in like this. That will make termination a little easier. So once that's laced in, uh, you can remove the module by pu either pushing up on the cable or you can grab the back end. Just be careful the, the conductors uh, do not pop out on you. Flush cutters at this point are recommended. I uh, wouldn't recommend using electrician scissors, but um, uh, if you cut fairly flush with the scissors, uh, that should work as well. But it's best to have a pair of these diagonal cutters or flush cutters on hand. Okay, at this point, uh, you're going to use the uh, termination tool. So it works best if you load your outlet body into the tool, like so. Uh, there's keying features 
on both sides of the uh, lacing module. Uh, two different shapes. Uh, I don't know if you can see it too well, but uh, there's a kind of a rectangle shape here and then a kind of a V groove here. So it is key to only go in one way, but you could force it in the wrong way. But just remember when your outlet's loaded into the tool, your conductor side or your cables, uh, your conductor should always be on the upper side. So just start this into the back of the module and then rotate your handle so that you can depress your outlet flush against the base. Make sure that's flush before you do your termination so you're just compressing the rear cap into place by depressing the handle like so. And now you've got your termination done. So your lacing module should be flush uh, that way you know you have a good termination. Now at this point you decide, okay, which way do I want my cable to exit? Uh, if your thumb latch side is down, which is what we recommend, so your, your contacts should be up so you don't get dust settling on them. So if you're mounting this into a, a faceplate, that's your typical orientation for a flat mount. So you can either have your cable exit top right or bottom left, like so. You just need to decide ahead of time. Okay, so get your cable oriented accordingly. Take your uh, your out your uh, rear cover. Uh, this will snap on either direction, uh, but this is the cable exit side. So orient that. Uh, Accordingly, make sure your cable is roughly in the right position. Start your cap, press that into place, uh, and then now um, you take your drain wire. It works best now to wrap this drain wire at this point, uh, either either direction. Um, sometimes it's easier to go one way versus the other. But uh, ideally, you want to uh, wrap it whichever way makes more sense to you, depending on where the drain wire is coming out. Now, notice I threaded it through the opening uh, of the outlet body. That's very important. Uh, so wrap that around into the same spot where the tie wrap is going to go. Oops. Okay, make sure that's in the same exact location and laying flat as best you can uh, before you insert your tie wrap. Your tie wrap is going to compress that against the, the cover and the body to give you uh, the best transfer impedance uh, for your ground path. And you do want to cinch this down as tight as you can with your with your fingers, with your hand. Uh, you can position the knot of that tie wrap uh, anywhere you want. It's usually out of the way on this side, but it's up to you. Cut off your excess. And you're ready to install. So it is important to have the drain wire captured, um, you know, with the tie wrap, like so. Okay, so removal, uh, you can re-terminate this up to four or five times. Um, you will need an extra tie wrap though. So just cut off your, your tie wrap you can take a pair of uh, a, a small screwdriver to wedge it into the slot here to pry that cover off. Unravel your your foil, or in that case, it broke off. But um, now you're just pulling this apart. There's no latching feature 
like you may have seen with our Z-Max. So uh, if you can grab this with your fingers tight enough, you can pull that fairly easily. Oops, in this case the cable is so short it pulled out on me, but you get the idea. Now if you're having trouble holding on to this, there is a feature in the tool. It's hard to see, but there's a little ridge here on the leading edge of the tool. There's also some features on the handle that uh, are designed to accept the module to give you some leverage. So uh, you would insert it into the tool like so. You're not using this piece in the middle. That's just laying flat. You're just resting it right on top like this. Okay. So it fits together kind of like a puzzle piece. That will grab the outlet, give you some leverage to hold on to this, and then you can kind of work this out. It comes out fairly easily, so in most cases you won't need the tool, but so that's how you remove that for reterminations. Okay. Any questions? Look us up, uh, seaman.com, and uh, I'll call our tech support line. We'd be glad to help you out.